I just did a massive closet clear out to truly curate a wardrobe that works for me. It's not classic, but it's pieces that I absolutely love and I feel like will work well with my personal style. Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. I am Halicia, but I go by Lee. And if you're new here, I make videos on fashion, lifestyle, beauty, and natural hair. So if that's your vibe, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Spring is the time to actually purge, clean, refresh, and I did just that. And with that, I gave away massive amounts of clothing, shoes, and accessories that just were not for me or didn't fit me or that wasn't the best quality. And so now that I'm in quite a different space, I really wanted to make sure that moving forward, as I add things to my wardrobe, they are good quality, they fully fit my vibe, and they are pieces that will really stand the test of time for me. So I have quite a few things that I've added to my wardrobe lately and we're gonna get into them. So the first thing is actually a handbag. I was actually privileged enough to receive this handbag from Songmind, blown away by the quality of the bag. So of course you get all of the things that come with a proper bag unboxing, a beautiful high quality box with a dust bag and all of the tagging and care receipts but i really think it's the bag that you're into and if you've been following me on instagram or pretty much on any other social media even here i've actually worn the bag and shown the bag because since i received the bag i haven't put it down i clearly have a obsession with green here she is stunning i know i actually had the option to choose the color of the bag that i wanted and i was like jade or this cream color that they had now this bag does come in a ton of different colors so you're not limited to one color at all tell me this is not a stunning bag it's literally the perfect size for me it is almost this pebbled leather it's very smooth but it's not going to get dirty or scratch easily based on the material you have this very large top handle it also came with a crossbody strap that buckles into these two buckles here underneath these flaps which are great for like airpods you can even put your phone in here i've done that and it'll kind of stick out of the side but i took off the straps because i just felt like it's not necessary who really needs it yeah i felt like it took away from the bag but i did appreciate the versatility of being able to wear crossbody if i wanted to the bag has feet i left the feet covered feet it has a song mount logo here and then this is actually a magnetic closure and as you can see these magnets are strong this bag is super spacious it is filled to the brim with all of my stuff that i put in here even this long grocery store receipt and it has one pocket in the inside that's like a wallet pocket it doesn't zip it's still a small bag for the most part it's spacious so i could fit a camera in here everything that i need like literally but more than anything it's the quality this is some of the best leather that i've experienced i have a lot of smooth leather bags they scratch they get dirty they get pin marks on them it's like always something i'm always so cautious of them especially if they get like wet or something i'm like oh my god and you have those water spots on it none of that happens with this bag it was storming today i took this bag out earlier no issues when i got in the car i was literally just able to wipe it and nothing happened it's plush it's soft it's like a pliable bag and i love that sometimes every now and then right now it's sitting very structured but sometimes depending on how heavy it is or when i hold it by the top handle it kind of flops in i love that i just think that that gives the bag so so much character because it is still structured but it has that versatility that movement to it so yeah 10 out of 10 i would recommend i want to say that this bag in particular comes in three sizes like a mini, a small, and a medium, and a range of colors. I would love to have the cream one, the cream one. And I don't have a cream bag, which is why I'm kind of beating myself up about it. Because I was like, you don't even own a cream bag. Why would you not get the cream? When I saw this jade, I was like, this is so different. It's so beautiful. And it matches these shoes 
these Bottega shoes, which are currently like my favorite heels in my wardrobe. So I've been pairing these two together with almost every outfit. Give me the shoes, give me the bag, I'm good to go. My stuff is already in it. Let's throw on the shoes, we're out the door. And I get so many compliments, even on this bag and the shape, because people haven't seen anything like this. Like, it's a vibe. I didn't want to thank Songline for sending me over this bag. I really appreciate it, and I love it. They have a red one too, but it's like a mini one. She's so cute. I checked a pair of shoes off of my wish list. If you saw my 2024 luxury wish list, I had these shoes on my radar. I was honestly not gonna buy them. I had wrote them off. I was just like, you know what? No, whatever. Like, I don't know what it is. The luxury gods were working in my favor. The fashion gods were like, no girl, you speak stuff into existence and you will have it. And that is exactly what happened. These shoes are by Kate. Kate is a luxury brand. Very much so. Even if you look at the tag, you can see the price on the box. And you see that red slash? That red slash was for me because they said listen you're gonna have your shoes and you're gonna have them at one of the best prices that you could ever possibly imagine and that is exactly what happened i ended up doing a little browse on the internet and they actually just came up in the search engine and i was like ain't no way and the price i was like there's no way like this isn't for real i'm like let me just click let me just go see they're probably not even gonna have my size wrong the even crazier part about it now i told myself if they don't have my size that's it i'm not getting them not worrying about them like moving on child i clicked on that and the only size that they had was my size and it said that there was one left and it was like during a time where they were doing a lot of luxury sales and it was like the end of sales season so there was an additional off an additional 20 percent off of sales so i'm like let's see what they come up in the checkout baby i left them out of sight out of mind i was like no mm -mm, no you don't need it telling myself over and over you don't need it and i vowed to kind of sleep on things like let me just wait at least 24 hours before I check out if it's really meant to be I can hold off on it and if I'm thinking about it the next day if I come back to it then it's my time to check out it's actually like two days later I went back still in my cart still at the same price and I just checked out these are the shoes if you know you know yeah it is these fur bedded sandals these are really sandals because they are super low the heel may be about an inch an inch and a half the chain straps around the feet and then you have this long strap that just wraps around the ankle i wore these recently with another piece that i'm going to feature in this video but these are stunning they are a banger and they are super comfortable and i do feel like this shoe is going to transition well throughout the seasons so i am super happy that i picked it up especially at the price point that i got it and recently when i checked these went back up to regular price i'm gonna link them for you you might have to just be like me and just hope and pray that the fashion gods work in your favor bring the price back down to what they were because they were like 80 percent off especially for spring this is the perfect spring shoe little fuzzy little warm kind of like this sexy elevated furry sandal okay so let's talk about the dress that i wore with them in my head i was at coachella in my head i was at like a festival and i was gonna give the girls festival vibes so a lot of these next pieces are pretty festival inspired and these pieces are from revolve so here is the first dress i'm pretty sure somebody probably had this on at Coachella but it is a black faux leather mini dress and then these fringes come all the way down to the floor on me they actually drag the floor I want to say this dress is by lovers and friends yes this fits to the T I got a size medium and I'm working on my back and my back was like stuffed so just keep that in mind I feel like if you're bigger breasted you probably want to go up a size just in general if you're curvier i got a medium and by the time i went back baby the large was gone so i'm just gonna stick with the medium because it's really only at the top back that is 
tight on me but I looked good when I stepped out in this. Also from Revolve, I got a floral dress. Yes, florals, groundbreaking for spring. I do not own a lot of florals, but I'm not against them. So as I was doing my spring cleaning, I had a dress that was floral. And I've had it for maybe like eight or nine years. And I was trying to wear it again, okay? After all of these years, I wanted to put it back on my body could not fit the dress couldn't get the dress past my hips so in my mind i was like i just want one really good floral piece i found a good one this one is by mbd it is a size medium i do not recommend this if you are busty because the top of this dress is so stunning it is something whimsical about it because some of the floral pieces lift off of the dress so it does actually have a texture to it and this is metal it outlines the boob it gives you a really low sexy cut you do have some adjustable straps to hold the girls up there's this huge side split so it makes it a maxi dress so in my mind i was like i'm gonna wear this as a shirt i felt like it would be a good piece that i could either wear as a dress or wear as a shirt on top of some jeans or some shorts that's been a trend lately and i love the fact that pieces can be versatile like that so i picked this up and it comes with a bodysuit in the inside that snaps if you want to wear it as a dress but what i do think honestly is that i'm probably going to get this bodysuit cut out because it doesn't fit my torso perfectly like it's really tight if i snap it speaking of florals i don't know what it is it's something about just the shape of flowers in general that have really captivated my attention and so i picked up these shorts when y'all see these shorts they're so good okay these are hot pants but not as hot and what i do adore about hot pants is the length because i am short when i wear normal shorts they kind of hit at that very awkward length having a hot pant that's a little bit shorter it makes my legs look longer is ideal for me but i didn't want the ones that were really like panties or bloomers this blue color gray tone they are very thick woven fabric which i am here for i love the quality and then on the side of the shorts there is a flower you see you can see right through oh my gosh both sides of the shorts there is a flower cut out with rhinestones and i love i love the glam i love the cutout the detailing is just so intricate to me it's stunning and i took these to the tailor because i ended up getting these in a size large because i was worried i definitely could have got my true size i could have stuck with the medium but i'm happy that i got the large because i have all of this space in the thigh and i just had the tailor cinch in that waist so he took in the back of them and now they are perfect love these shorts they are by oh they're 100 cotton which is great and the tag is gone now so sorry about that just check the description bar below and i'll leave the sizes for all of the pieces that i got you know but just keep in mind the stories that i'm telling you like the references that i'm giving you if you want to get any of these pieces and you are concerned about what size you should get the shoes true to size i got those in a 36.5 if they do have a 36.5 i will definitely get that because i am a us six and a half size shoe i have small feet i know i also got a two-tone top from revolve it is white at the top but it's like a buttery white and then the bottom is like this black corseted moment that top is phenomenal i've worn it twice already so it's currently in the wash so i'm not gonna physically show it to you but just know that it is a good top that fits so well and i had this top in my mind strictly to wear with any type of black bottoms it will make the outfit look like you have on a crop top when you don't have on a crop top and you get that waist cinching and i did really appreciate the details in the top so 10 out of 10 i would recommend and the only other piece that i picked up from revolve is a basic piece it is also from lovers and friends i got this in a size large i should have gotten this in a medium but i was scared that it was gonna fit too tight and i just wanted it to lay on the body and this fits slightly loose like it does lay on the body so i might need to just wash it first and see how it washes see if it shrinks in the wash but this is what I love about it. So it is just a white tank top. I'm not going to lie to you. I appreciated the curved 
him in this this curved him looks spectacular so it's not super cropped it definitely comes below the boob and then you get this curved him that almost comes below the belly button and i just thought that this was a very interesting basic if you've seen any of my not so basic basics this really fits in the series and so anytime i get like super basic pieces like this like a white tank top which i think is 100 percent oh no it's 98% rayon and 4% elastane. So it definitely has a bunch of stretch to it. I should have read the fabric composition. And that probably would have led me to getting a smaller size, but I didn't. I was just thirsty for the top because I was interested in how dope the hem is. Because this is such an elevated way to wear a white tank top. And white tank tops are essential for any wardrobe. You know, it's boring, but it's not so boring because whose white tank top looks like this? Boom. So the next pieces are from Shop Akira. I've talked about them on my channel, but I can't say if I've actually featured their pieces. So I went into Shop Akira because they now have stores. Quick backstory when it comes to Akira. Akira used to be a Chicago-based brand. There is a video on my channel from probably nine years ago. 11 to be exact. Where I went to Chicago on a vlog. I went to the Akira store. Hello. Ooh. Hello. Hello. So, we're at Akira's. Akira. A oh, Akira. I don't know why I want to call her Akira. And I got a whole bunch of stuff. More than I wanted to see it. So, what's up first? I don't know, it's like psychedelic type. What? Just a sweater. Cut out sleeves. Let's see. Don't try to run from the camera. It's cute. Damien's at the cure. He's beasting on the clothing collection. Try, try. That's a cute top right there. Cheetah, leopard. An animal. Just, oh, just gonna be on YouTube? She, <laughs> she does uh, natural hair blogs, yeah. At the time, this was the only store. And we shopped, I bought a couple of pieces. I really enjoyed the vibes. It was just something new, something fresh, something trendy, and it was a physical storefront. I truly enjoy my experience at Akira. So fast forward, Akira is now pretty much a global brand and they have stores everywhere. In Houston, I think that there's at least three Akira stores, so I will pop in every now and then just to see what they have they have so many gems at so many different price points and i found some amazing pieces from shop akira that people will always be like where you got that from i have been on the hunt for a tan skirt i have one but it is corduroy and you know we're kind of past the season of corduroy i was like it's no point in me keeping this out or putting this on like this is not a material that i could wear in the spring summer so i just definitely wanted like a cute fun flirty tan mini skirt so i picked up this one i enjoyed this one primarily because of the white band i love this it's really just like a pleated skirt but it's super cute and then this white band adds this extra detailing so you can kind of sit it a little bit lower on the waist it does zip in the back and i want to say i got this in a medium so it is true to, no, I got it in a large psych. And also what's so great about this is that it comes with shorts. So I don't have to worry about it. Everybody knows that with, with mini skirts and things like that, you have to be super careful. And we've seen how creepy people get, especially when you have on skirts and things like that. So this was perfect that it came all in one. And I really, really enjoy the quality. This is this heavy kind of cotton stiff material it is going to get wrinkled so it's something that i would have to iron but i don't mind that especially not for the price point we're good to go love this piece and then the other set that i got is actually more of a dupe and i was gonna save this for my designer or dupe video or i might just bring it back but i'm gonna show it to you now i have the designer version of this blazer in 
silver but theirs is more of this is the blazer it's one of those cut out blazers where it kind of covers the boob and then it ties again in the middle and then there is a skirt that goes with it so i have the mini skirt this is the full set in a chocolate brown this is really like a true brown i saw this in store instantly fell in love with it i do really appreciate the quality it is pretty thick heavy weight i got both of the pieces in a medium and they do fit perfectly i could have gotten a large in the skirt so that it could fit like a little looser but if i would have gotten it looser it would sit low rise on me and i wasn't really planning on doing that but the way that the skirt fits it fits like it was made for my body like it fits like it's perfectly tailored but the only thing about having pieces that fit perfectly like that is that you have no room to grow so i just have to you know keep that in mind when i'm wearing this i can just wear it with the blazer the blazer is going to cover up most of it anyways the only point of me really getting the skirt was for that extra length and so that i could have a full set the other thing that's great about it over the designer version is that the pieces that cover the breasts are actually sewn down so they're not going to flap open with the designer version i'm gonna show it to y'all i keep i still keep wearing it because i don't care i wore them to see beyonce in the vlog that i wore it in i had to take it off i went to the concert dress one way i left the concert dress another way <laughs> so this is the designer version if you notice these pieces flap this is much much sexier than that is the cure version is like the wholesome version to me this one is like you came to play you're risque you know okay next up are from black owned brand i just did a black owned brand video i am well aware of that but these pieces came in the mail like two or three days after i did that video and that video is already live you can watch that video before you watch this one and i might again feature them you know in another video or in a short or something like that but for now i really want you to see them because they are available last time i checked instead of waiting until next month for me to do another black owned business haul so the first one is another bag by Plugged. Plugged by Bianca. She just sent me this bag. This one is a silver bag. I have the denim version of this bag and now I have the silver one. And before you say, Halicia, you just got the silver Jacques Mousse bag. It's not the same. You see that? This will probably be my last silver bag though. However, this one is more of like a brushed silver. It really matches my silver jewelry from shop koi and i do love that the hardware on this bag is gold i like when silver and gold are mixed i just think it's a vibe it comes with a chain crossbody strap that is silver and gold almost like the chanel chains it is a vanity top handle bag i plan on wearing it like this i feel like every time i get closer to the camera it gets washed out a little bit so i'm i'm likely gonna wear this like this zipper is buttery and it's huge in the inside that's what she said these things there are layers of these things and the inside of the bag just has plugged everywhere but she just dropped a white one and a silver one so i definitely wanted to share these with you there's feet on the bottom of the bag we love feet on the bottom of a bag at this point i kind of feel like feet should be a bare minimum i understand if it's like the shape of a bottega bag i'm not saying that but any bag that really has structure to it whatsoever give me some feet and these straps are removable the other thing that i think that she's launching or dropping or maybe she just popped in as like a little gift but i'm gonna share them to you anyways are some jewelry pieces and this is a chain she's she sent me a piece of chain mm -hmm. she knew the houston vibe so cute because it's a plug plug shawty what a love what a love it it's an adjustable chain so you could also wear this it's like a bracelet and she sent a matching bracelet i love that okay now the last two pieces also from a black owned brand these are from fumi the label she just launched her very first collection before she was only launching pieces now she has a full collection 
and the name of this collection is bloom we're back into the flowers again and i picked up two pieces from the collection you're gonna be blown away so i really save for last not to say i saved the best for last that's kind of the best for last my song my bag is also like top of the list if you made it this far into the video then you really get the treats so this is one of the pieces look at this <laughs> stop if you haven't figured it out by now, you can see why I am drawn to luxury, small businesses, and Black-owned brands. It is the creativity for me. It is the design elements. It's a blue on blue. This is both blue. Look at this. It's like an accordion. No, but for real. This is actually a dress. You cannot wear it as a cardigan or anything else really you can wear it as basically like a shirt or a dress because not all of the buttons are functional the first two buttons are functional so you can open it up but past that none of the buttons are and i watched some of the live and she was basically saying she didn't want it to deform the shape by the buttons being loose or have like buckling and things in it because it's already such an intricate design so it is designed to be worn as a dress i'm gonna look stunning in this i guarantee you the next time that i have a major campaign i'm shooting in this dress also the next dress that i picked up and it's this one i have this dress in two other colors i have it in a blue and a burnt orange but this one is like a sunburst just orange in general just looks so good on me so i'm not gonna complain it is a full length maxi dress if I'm not mistaken, all of these buttons are functional. Oh, they button from the inside. Oh, that's superior. The buttons on the outside are solely for decoration. And the buttons on the inside actually are functional. So it's going to lay flat on the body. That is amazing. And look at the feathers on the sleeve. We're talking about full 360 feathers. But another thing, I'm going to say this is super thought out because the feathers are not at the bottom of the cuff. So you don't have to worry about... Kind of like the sleeper pajamas, the feathers are at the bottom. My feathers always get caught on stuff. So I appreciate people when they, because I love feathers. But I appreciate how she put them like in the middle of the cup. So you're less likely to get them caught on stuff like your lip gloss or, you know, just in the most inconvenient places. You don't have to worry about that. Thought out design and I love this particular piece both of them honestly there are other pieces from this collection that i have on my radar but tell myself limit yourself to two first and then as time goes on if the pieces don't sell out and you want to add more to your wardrobe then do it in increments because these pieces are not cheap <laughs> you can't tell me that this wasn't one of the best spring fashion hauls that you've seen i know it was good i know that i just showed you pieces that you're like that's cute if you're into this if you're into my vibe make sure that you like comment and subscribe that is it for today's video i love you guys make sure you check out the description bar for any other details that i forgot to mention discount codes sizes links all of the things will be listed below come back next week for yet another video or turn on your notifications join the community i love you guys and and of course i'll see you in my next video bye what a love it now who gonna clean this up